Well, I mean, obviously, this was uh, die or go home, you know, do or die, whatever, all the cliches you want to say. You know, I think our guys, you know, knew that, and they knew, you know, they had a golden opportunity last game, and they let it slip through their hands. Um, But, you know, know, I've been saying this for the whole year. We got a resilient group. So I knew today we were going to come out with some force and some attention to detail. I mean, I just talked to Seth, their head coach, and he said he knew from the first, like, five to ten minutes, whatever, that we were locked in. Like, the rotations, defensively, the talking, that kind of stuff, you know, helps cover up some mistakes. So um, I'm proud of our guys. I mean, well, it was two things. Like, I, I really feel, you know, we have a great staff. So we all talked and we all broke down the film and seen, like, the little holes that we uh, can exploit and, um, you know, kind of way we need to play for us to be successful. Like, last game, I think we were moving the ball, but we weren't playing off the catch. And that was a point of emphasis today. Um, and then the attention to detail, the heightened awareness, the uh, right raising your game, that's all the things we were talking about before uh, the game, like this is moments that as a player you want, you know, in a regular season, uh, you know, a game in the beginning of the season is one thing, but and when the game, when the, when the season's on the line, you want to raise your, uh, you know, your ability to do what you got to do for your teammates. So it was one of the things where I think everybody stepped up in their own way. Um, we didn't shoot perfect, but we played really hard. Yeah, I mean, one, I mean, you know, Long Island is a very good team. Um, you know, the interesting thing about Long Island, I think we played them without Didi, Trevor, and Willie. Um, and it was a close game, the entire game, but there was a four or five minute stretch where they dominated. That, that third quarter. That third, opening, yeah. Opening second, third quarter. Where they just dominated on both ends. Defense still, 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 three, 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 still. Um, so that right there, you know, I still feel pretty good about it because for the most part, we did make a run and came back, but the quarters were pretty good. So I think they haven't played with the guys we have now. Um, and, you know, they're in. They're, they're in the playoffs, right? We're not. So we, uh, you know, obviously need a little bit of help with Stockton, but, you know, Stockton take care of business. I think we have a very good chance to take care of business. Yeah, um, Darius, you know, was pissed off about his performance last game. I think he shot maybe uh, 200, may got 200 makes post game. Yeah, they they're pretty. They don't care about us. To be here. <laughs> hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, so um, he shot 200 makes after the game. He was pissed off. So I talked to him and I told him like channel that energy, like. You got to be smart about it um, because you don't want to be too aggressive where you're playing out your game and you're frustrated. So I think he did a good job of doing that. He's very locked in and laser focused. And you can see that from the start of the game. Hey, 
this is, I mean, we're going to say cliche after cliche, win or go home. That's it. It's like these moments, this is what you want as a player. Like, yes, it's good to have a season and play, you know, games on a Wednesday and, and just if we win or lose. But when the game's on, I mean, season's on the line, that's when you want to perform, right? That's when you have to challenge yourself to rise to that occasion. So I think these guys are ready for that and they're ready to uh, take the challenge. Coach, watching something. Well, that was a point of emphasis. I mean, it was to a point in our last film session, a couple of guys got mad at me. I was calling them out, and I was saying, like, we're selling, we're selling. I said, this is what they want you to do. This is actually the uh, their strategy, and you're playing right into it. So no matter how good a shooter you are, if somebody closes out, close out at you wildly and, you you know, they're out of control, that gives you a chance to drive them and then open up for somebody else. Either you're finishing or somebody else is getting laid up or a wide open shot. So that was the point of emphasis. We worked on it in shoot around, watched film on it. And I think the guys saw the success early. It was like, okay, let's keep doing this. Yeah, this seems like you want Trevor and Darius and Mike are all very good at driving the ball. I've seen Trevor in games where he struggled from the outside because he was driving. Yeah. Basket. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, man. Like, um, Trevor, you know, they're going to run him off the line. I think he did a good job defensively. Uh, I think he moved the ball well. And he made some big shots to get, get, a, you know, get us a run. So, you know, Trevor has a tough job because he has to play, make, and score, just like Ty Ty. Uh, but they did a great job today. Good.